How you guys doing? So welcome back. So this is Monday, week two. Y'all survived. All right. So congratulations. Uh, but we're going to start to look at different ways that we can um, we can express uh, motion. We're going to start with a line graph. Oh, I'm sorry. We're, we're going to start with a number line. We're going to get to a line graph, and then we're going to get to um, a velocity graph, which you guys are going to start seeing tomorrow. Okay. But uh, so I'm going to show you guys four different line segments or four different types of a trip that can happen. So on a number line, we're just going to call zero. That's our reference point. That's where everything's going to be relative to. It could be, pick a random spot in the universe. It could be here where I'm standing right now in the classroom. It could be where you're standing right now in, uh, in your room, in, 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 the, in the office, where, where, wherever you're at. It, it could be there. It could be your favorite place to be. Go, I don't know, some spot in space relative to something, right? So... Say this is relative to where I'm standing right here. So zero is going to represent here. And I'm going to walk kind of slow, but I'm going to walk three meters, okay? So I'm going to walk to the right three meters. And I'm going to call this line segment number one, but I went from zero to three. And let's say I did line segment number one. Let's say I did that in four seconds. I walked very slow. So you know, I'm starting here, and I'm going to walk to the right. One, two. I got three meters away, all right? About that time, I'm now going to take line segment number two, and, I'm, and let's do that in, oh, I don't know, let's do black, and I'm going to go from three to five, okay? So now three seconds to five seconds, I'm going to travel, this is line second two, and let's say I did it really fast. I did this in uh, one second. So I ran pretty much. So I did two of these meters, I ran it in a second. So you can see the first four seconds, I was going really slow, and then all of a sudden I booked it for the last two meters, okay? So that's gonna be these two line segments. All right, now I'm gonna start going in the opposite direction. So, well, light, and so let's say I stand here for three seconds. So I literally don't do anything. So I'm standing at the five meter mark for three seconds, doing nothing. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. We've all been there, right? You just stop, you freeze, you think, I don't know, okay? But that's what happened for three seconds. So to recap, we segment line segment number one, we walked three meters in four seconds. Line segment number two, we walked two meters in one second. Line segment number three, we did absolutely nothing for three seconds. Notice I'm at the five meter mark though, okay? So I'm at a spot in space, not at the reference point, but I'm at a spot, okay? Maybe I sat down to have lunch, right? I got up and I walked away from the computer here and now I'm here, you know, pick a scenario. If you, eat, if you can eat in three seconds, that is impressive, though. Um, now, the last, the last line segment is we're going to haul. We're going as fast as we can, but we're going to go all the way to negative five. So we went all the way across the number line to the way on the other side, and we did that in two seconds. We were booking it. Uh, oh, two seconds is at the bottom. We're going to call this line segment number four. Okay. So how far did I walk? Okay. So that's really what we want to be thinking about here is now we can get into vectors and scalars with this. And this is why it's important to draw on a number line. Uh, you know, these are positive numbers. These are negative numbers. No, these are not smaller than these numbers. If it's a positive number, right, if it has a positive sign, it just means to the right. It could mean north. It could mean uh, east. Uh, could be. Could mean up uh, too. Okay, not the movie. If it has a negative sign to it, it could be going to the left, to the left, to the left. Right? We all like Rihanna. Could be going south, uh, west, or down. Okay. So these are all negative directions. If you're a lefty, you can be over here too. I kid. Um, so you have your right, you have your left. You know, this is, this is the positive direction. This is a negative direction. 
Okay, so now we can start really understanding this whole vector scalar thing on here. We want to talk scalar first. Scalar is distance and scalar is going to be speed. So let's talk about my total distance I walked. I started at zero. I went to five. That's five meters, right? So, well, the first line segment I walked three meters. Uh, the second line segment I walked two meters. That should be in black. The third line segment, I did walk zero meters. And in the last line segment, I walked 10 meters. Okay? Make them all meters, right? So my distance, it doesn't matter what direction I was going, but three plus two plus zero plus 10, you add all that stuff up and I'm gonna travel a distance of 15 meters, five this way, five back to zero, and then five extra meters to, to, to the left. So three plus two is five, plus 10 is 15. That's how I came up with the distance I walked. If I wanna get my overall speed, I take my, my total speed, I take my total distance, and I divide it by the total time. Four plus one plus three plus two, it's conveniently 10. My video, my variables, my rules. You're welcome. 10 is amazing to use, right? So the total time, okay, is 10 seconds. And you guys saw last week to calculate speed, speed is my distance divided by the time. And so that's going to be a 15 meters divided by 10 seconds. So 15 divided by 10, it's going to be 1.5. I love dividing by 10. You just move the decimal place zoop, over 1, and your speed is 1.5 meters per second. So 1.5 meters every single second. I mean, I was going ridiculously fast here, but I was kind of going slow here. I didn't do anything here. So, you know, so, there, so, so I can, though, get individual speeds at individual places because I can do the one in blue. I did 3 meters in... Four seconds so my speed here is three meters in four seconds my speed here distance over time is two meters in one second I will put an equal sign here my speed here is zero meters in three seconds I think we know that speed and then my final speed is ten meters in two seconds. So you guys can calculate those real quick, but this, the individual speed of segment one, I was going uh, 0 0.75 meters per second. Segment two, I'm going two meters per second because two divided by one is two. The uh, the third segment is zero meters per second because zero divided by anything, just make it zero. And then this last one is going to be five meters per second. These are literally just speeds. I don't care what your velocity is, okay? Oh, I don't care about your direction right now. So we're talking distance, we're talking velocity. Now, oops, wow, I'm gonna keep messing that up. We're talking distance, we're talking um, speed. Now we want to velocitize this or turn it into velocity. Talk about displacement. Okay, now with displacement, this is now turned into a positive three meters. Hey, there's my velocity now, right? This is now a positive two meters. This zero, zero, don't matter. Um, oh, I completely missed up the colors. Why didn't you tell me? How embarrassing. Uh, and then the final one, I did walk to the left. And so because I walked to the left, I am going to give that a negative number. Okay. So 3 plus 2 is a positive 5, but minus 10, though, 
So now, yes, my distance is 15, absolutely true, but my displacement now is a negative 5 meters. I am now displaced. I am moved 5 meters away from where I started. Yeah, sure, there's other things that happened. I walked slow, then really fast, and then I did absolutely nothing. But... At the end of the day, 10 seconds later, I started here, count to 10, boom, I'm now right here. And that's really what that displacement is. I'm five meters away from where I started. Now you wandered around, but you started and ended, you know, in the same spot, you know? I mean, you guys got up this morning. You probably went and got some breakfast. You've probably gone to the restroom. Um, probably wandered around the house for a little bit, but now you're sitting somewhere watching this video, right? You could be sitting on your bed watching it. Well, then your displacement zero because you started the day waking up and you literally right there. So your displacement zero. Yeah, sure, you walked distance. Your displacement zero. Maybe you're to a desk right next to your bed two meters away. Well, your displacement is two. Yeah, you still wandered around the house to get ready, but you're now they're watching, right? So that's the whole distance displacement idea. With that, though, I can now get what my overall velocity was. Earlier, I said speed is distance over time, 15 meters, the total thing I walked divided by 10 seconds. My velocity okay, is my change in distance over time. Now understand the term change. Delta means change, and that's some sort of final minus an initial. Okay, final minus initial. Well, where, initial is where you start from. So where initially was I? I was at zero. Where did I end at? Negative five. So my, so it's really my, Position final minus my position initial divided by time. Okay, I've run out of space over here, so I am going to go over here. Please forgive me. Okay, but or, you know what? Boom. All right. You never know you say things over and over again until you record yourself. I say boom a lot. I apologize. Distance final minus distance initial. Okay. So, uh, so doing that, velocity is my dis uh, is my distance final over my distance initial, uh, just uh, position minus divided by time. So now my velocity is going to be uh, my final position is a negative five, and I'm going to subtract my initial position, which conveniently is zero. Again, add your units, meters, meters. And I'm going to subtract, and I'm going to divide that by 10 seconds, because I still got to this spot at the 10 second mark. Negative 5 minus 0 is negative 5, divided by 10, so now my velocity is a negative 0 0.5 meters per second. Okay. Overall, it doesn't really look like I traveled very fast. It took me 10 seconds to go to this spot here. Well, I'm ignoring all this, my distance, to get, with to, that, to get what that velocity is, okay? So there's really some explanations on a number line. Right below this video, there is a quiz that kind of goes over this, okay? Uh, it, it, it only gives you two segments, not four. I'm going to use these four segments in future videos you guys are going to be watching. But it's going to kind of understand your knowledge on speed, velocity, how to calculate those. Your distance, displacement, position. Do you know where your position is? You know, do you know the distance? Everything you travel, the displacement, start to finish. Um, speed, everything. Velocity, start to finish. You know, and so use that as you complete that. Again, we'll be helping you out. All right.